it is warm. Warm. It's freaking warm. There you go. Go ahead and die. I'll just change you when I find my shit. This is a wine. Disclosure. There's alcohol in this video. Hide your kids. Uh, hello, world. Uh, <laughs> Bernie's gonna clip this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, hi, my name is Brittany Posey, and today I am showing you the look I created using the Morphe's Talking Flirty Palette. This is a very fun, flirty, party, girls night out makeup look, and I'm really excited to show you guys how I did this, because I absolutely love the way it turned out. But if you want to see how we created this, you know what to do. Don't mind the little mountain down there. It's pretty painful. For primer? I saw this one, which is, this is the NYX Angel Veil. I think what it said is that it's uh, like an evening, like a smoothing, not really quite like a poreless, but more of like a smoothing, like blurring primer. So we're gonna go ahead and use this today. And I like that they sell um, like baby sizes, cause that way you can actually try it and you're not buying this whole thing and then you end up hating it. It's just like this perfect little size bottle. Um, it's kind of one of those where you kind of have to like press it so that it fills everything. But I'm not really seeing much blurring, so I don't know. Just seems like a pretty basic primer. It does seem to kind of give it more of like a matte, mattening finish. Definitely not shiny, so I guess that's good. It's a good thing. It is like, feels like it's 100 degrees in this room. Whew. So as usual, I'm going to be doing using two different concealers. I use NARS Medium 3 and then NARS Medium 1.25. I always start with my darkest and finish with my lightest. And you'll see as the video goes on. So you're going to take your darker concealer. I'm just going to put it in the inner corners. Then you're going to blend it in and then you're going to bring it up onto your eyelid. because so we're going to use it as our base for our eyeshadow. The sponge is soaking up all my concealer and it's not actually putting any of it on my skin. This is a wine. Disclosure, there's alcohol in this video. Hide your kids. So I, first thing I'm going to do as far as eyes is I'm going to do my brows and I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Brow Kit in the shade Ash Brown. Every time I have used this brow kit, I have never never been disappointed with it and I always kind of find myself gravitating back towards using this brow kit. It's so inexpensive. I honestly don't remember how much I paid for it. I want to say it can't be more than like four or five dollars. It's definitely worth the money. If you're looking, if you're on a budget, if you're in college, if you're just looking for something kind of just to play around with because you're not really used to doing brows yet, I definitely suggest getting this brow kit. It has been one of my, from the very beginning, when I ever started making videos, I'm pretty sure this brow kit was one of the first things I even made a video about. And it was like the super, super like short video. Um, but it was about this brow kit. So that's how much I believe in this brow kit and you will probably like it too. So give it a try. I'm just taking our lighter concealer and I'm gonna carve out my eyebrows with it. Just using this concealer brush by a Luxie brush. In today's palette, I'm going to be using the Morphe um, Talking Flirty palette. I've had this palette for a very long time and I honestly ever, I can't remember ever making a video about it. So I kind of just figured it was time. Now I am, <clears throat> I feel quite sweaty. So I do want to set my lid um, so stuff doesn't move around, but there's not really any shades in this palette that I could do that. So I'm going to grab the Morphe Truth or Barrett palette and I am going to go into this color right here. Alright, next I'm going to take a crease brush and I'm going to go into this peachy color right up here. Next, I'm gonna take the Sigma Tapered Blending Brush, the E35, and we're gonna be going up into this light purple color up here. 
And I'm going to focus on keeping it more on the outer corner. And not going all the way up, you want some of that little peachy orange color to pop through. And then on the inner corner. I'm going to take that first blending brush we used for that peachy color and I'm just going to very lightly buff out that purple, but don't go too crazy, otherwise you'll mute that peach we have in there. Now I'm going to take the Sigma blending brush, the E25. It's just like the E35, it's just a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact. And we're gonna go into this burgundy, reddish burgundy down here. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna pat it right in the corner. Careful not to cover up that purple color. I'm actually gonna grab a little bit smaller of a shader. I am going to grab the Morphe M152 brush and I'm gonna go back into that burgundy just because I want to pack it on a little bit heavier actually I think I want more purple I think I did not have enough purple all right I am going to leave that be before I make it any worse so now I'm going to take the Morphe 421 brush and I'm going to go into this beautiful pinky burgundy red shimmer right here. It's very very gorgeous. It's like a dark almost like a muted magenta and you're just gonna pop that right in the center. I'm going to take the Anastasia um, Waterproof Cream Color Liner in the shade Jet and I'm going to take Sigma's Winged Liner Brush and we're going to create a nice wing. I'm going to go back in with the Morphe 421 brush and I'm going to go into this shimmer peach color up here. I want the center to be just a little bit brighter. Okay, I'm going to be done with eyes for now. I'm going to go on to face. I'm going to do for foundation, it's going to be the NYX Total Control Pro Drop Foundation um, in the shade Classic Tan. I've never used a drop foundation, so... It's going to match my skin pretty well. Wow, that's a nice foundation. It's supposed to be very buildable. So you can build it up to be whatever kind of coverage you prefer. Cover up the monster down there. I never used a dropper foundation. I actually kind of like it. <gasps> oh! <laughs> right in the brow. Let's see if I can get it out of there without ruining the way my brow looks. Okay, that looks fine. Doesn't look horrible. If you're new to foundation, don't forget to get your neck. Otherwise, you're gonna have this huge floating head thing happening where either your face is gonna be white and your neck's gonna be tan or your face is going to be tan and your neck's going to be white unless you're extremely lucky and you just happen to grab the most perfect matching color, which this is rarely happens that this matches perfectly to my face. But always bring it down into your neck. It just blends everything together. Now we're going to take the light concealer of the two. I'm going to take the NARS 125 medium. Pop it there. I even like foundation and I actually really 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 like this foundation it's sitting so beautifully on the skin it just feels like it's like second skin I'm really impressed 
really impressed with this foundation. For contour, I'm gonna take the Anastasia foundation stick in the shade Mink, and I'm gonna carve out my cheeks, jawbone, and around my around my forehead a little bit. I'm gonna set my face using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm gonna bronze up a little. I'm gonna take the Hula Benefit bronzer and I'm gonna kind of warm up my face a little bit. Now for blush, I'm going to try something a little different. Um, I normally don't ever use shimmer brushes. I kind of tend to gravitate away from them, but since this is more of like, a, could be a fun glowy look, I'm gonna take the Revolution um, blush palette. It don't mind the cracked front, but oh, someone taped it shut, bitches. <coughs> It looks something like this. I don't know if you can see in this light, but all of these have a really beautiful shimmer to them. And over here we have, it looks like almost like two contour colors. So I'm gonna take the darker contour color, the one that's up here, and I'm gonna deepen up my contour a little bit. That's not a bad contour color. I'm actually pretty impressed with that. That's pretty solid. Okay, and for blush, I'm gonna start with this lightest color right up here. It kind of has a very slight shimmer, not as much as the rest. So we're gonna start with that one. Um, there's not a whole ton of payoff with that one. We're gonna keep trying a little bit. So it is showing up very, very, very lightly. Um, I am going to kind of try dipping these two together and see because I'm kind of liking how that one is a shimmer also. I don't know. It's just not really, the payoff's not really happening. Um, for highlight, I'm going to go back to this palette, but for right now, I'm going to grab the NARS blush in the shade in passions i love this brush because it's so buildable like you can literally just build it up to however dark you want i guess essentially would be the term um so now i am going to go back to this palette i'm going to take a highlight brush and i am going to go into i'm going to go into this pinky color down here I mean, you're getting the glow. You're getting the glow. Um, I'm not tapping off. So, um, I'm getting the most possible payoff I can. And yeah, normally I wouldn't suggest doing that. Normally I would always tell people to tap off. But if you're noticing that something is not super pigmented, um, you could probably make a good judgment call on that one. I'm gonna take the Kat Von D uh, Go Bigger Go Home Mascara and I'm gonna prep my lashes so we can stick bigger lashes on them. Can you hear my boyfriend out there? How can we get a tree stump? And for lashes, I'm gonna take the Kat Von D um, Natural Lashes. Okay, so if anything looks a little different, it's because I'm filming the rest of this video the next day. Um, I, uh, like I said, I don't have any power and I ended up dropping one of the lashes on the ground and I couldn't find it because it was too dark. So um, I just decided we're just gonna recreate this look tomorrow. We're just gonna do it, it's not gonna be a big deal. But since I did lose one of those lashes, I just went ahead and popped on the House of Lashes Iconic Light Lashes. They're quite large and nicely separated. They're like my favorite lashes right now. They're just, oh, they're my favorite. So I went ahead and popped on those. And I think we're gonna move on to the lower lash line. So for the lower lash line, I think I wanna keep it, I think I really wanna bring out that purple. 
because it kind of got lost in the pink a little bit. So I want to really kind of emphasize that purple for the underneath. I'm going to take the Purr P80 brush. It's like this tiny little brush. I'm going to go back into that purple color. I'm going to take the Sigma Flat Definer E15. I'm going to go back into that purple color. And I'm just going to keep it right under my wing. Just define that line a little bit. Now I am going to take the Smashbox Always On Gel Liner in the shade Fishnet and I'm going to kind of touch in on the inner waterline. I want to get a, bit, a little bit of depth but I don't want to take away from that purple. Okay, and for lips I'm going to be doing the Lodi Slay All Day Longwear Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade So Good. Very pigmented. Wow. I don't know if I'm super in love with that, so I'm going to, I want to mute it down a little bit. So I'm going to take the Smashbox Always on Liquid Lipstick in the shade Babe Alert. Mm, I don't think that's really going to work either. I'm going to try the same Smashbox, except I'm going to use Fair Game. It's a little bit lighter. Okay, and I just forgot that I had this. I found this. It's the Girl Attic 3-in-1 Sparkle Balm in the shade Periwinkle. It's like this cute little crayon, so... Oh, that's pretty. I'm just gonna pop it right in the center. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna take a small shader and we're gonna go into this nice light, light shimmer. And we're just gonna pop it in the inner corners. Just to kind of open the eye up a little bit. I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Mist and I'm going to spray my face so it all stays in place. And that is it for this look, guys. This is my Morphe's Talking Flirty Palette look. This is definitely fun and flirty. This is definitely like a date night, girls night out look. Um, I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. It's just very fun, very like party makeup. I'm just getting like party birthday party vibes. But thank you guys for watching. If you had any questions, leave a comment below. I will also be listing everything I use in this video in the description box below, along with the links to where you can find them. But I'm gonna call this a day. I'm gonna go get on with my day now that my face is done and I can go start running all of my errands, going grocery shopping, cleaning the house and all the other fun stuff that comes with it. But anyways, thank you very much guys. Bye.